Now, a lot of you folks who know me know that I love the history of our sport, and I am always in the market and looking for new books out there. So do me a favor, if you will, just leave a comment of what is your favorite fly tying book. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Savage Flies. I'm Matt. Thank you for stopping by. Now, it's been a couple of weeks since we've done a book review, so I figured I'm about due. So why I decided on the book I'm going to do today, I'll tell you. Uh, sometimes when I'm looking for flies to tie, I will find a pattern in a really old, obscure book, and maybe it's a forgotten fly or a nearly forgotten fly. So one of the first things I'll do, I'll look online to see if there are any pictures of it. Lots of times there are not, and then I'll flip to one of two books. The first one is usually Raymond Scott Stetzer's Flies the Best 1000, and then the next one I look at is this one, Federation of Fly Fishers Fly Pattern Encyclopedia. So about this book, 1,600 flies, uh, several different classes, I'll go through those in a second, published in 2000. It's about 232 pages, full color pictures, uh, recipes for every fly in it. Now it is not an instruction book, it is not a how-to book at all, it is, you know, what it says, a pattern encyclopedia. Okay, now let's look at some of the chapters in this book. Six chapters, uh, dry flies, nymphs and wet flies, streamers, steelhead salmon and rangely flies, then warm water and salt water. Now I haven't counted every fly in every section, but I think the nymphs and wet fly is pretty much the biggest section, followed by the dry flies, and then the streamers, steelheads, and the big water bugs. They're all pretty much uh, about the same size chapters. So let's flip through and look at some of these. So, okay, uh, dry fly section right here. Many, many pages of dry flies. They break it down into caddis flies, mayflies. Uh, we've got terrestrials, crane flies. So let's see if we can get right here. Um, okay, we just got a lot of mayflies right here. We've got some realistic looking ones, some, um, you know, various different standard mayfly patterns. So after more terrestrials, we got some hoppers. Uh, now we're getting into some nymphs and wet flies. So take a look at this section, all purpose nymphs. You might see some of my writing in the margins with these. You know, I will highlight this and say, oh, I want to try this fat teleco here, or maybe I should try this easy Y prints. I imagine that's an easy prints. Looks kind of like a prints nymph, but it's got some Zelon instead of the biots. So really, you can, you can get an idea of what the, the book is like just by flipping through it right here. And it's really a, a solid book. Now let's just flip to some of the random. Okay, well, here we are with the steelhead, salmon, and rangely flies. Now I've had this book probably five or six years, and just looking through it right now, I'm seeing flies in here that I've never noticed before. Uh, purple eagle, that's a pretty cool looking salmon fly. What about this one, the rainlander? Can we see that? If that gets focused on that fly right there, that's a really cool looking pattern. You know, I'd like to tie that. Of course, I don't have any orange dyed grizzly hackle right now, but might have to get some for this guy. Then we get into here, the warm water flies. You've got some bass bugs. Some really cool looking here, some Matuka patterns. Uh, foam body hoppers, oh, crayfish, crawdads. Three pages right here, four pages of just crawdads. You've got eels and snakes. Who's ever tied a, a snake fly? But I don't know, it's pretty cool looking. And then we get into some saltwater flies here, some really cool looking. You've got the clousers, fat head types. Um, yeah, lots of bonefish, epoxy flies here. So in a nutshell, this book has flies, you know, pretty much for any fly tire out there. So again, who is this book for? Well, I'd say it's for everybody. It's for a beginner as well as some experienced tires. Now, if I was really just starting and looking for my first book, I probably wouldn't make it this one. I think I would pick up one of Mike Vala's or Dave Hughes, you know, really instructional type tying books. But how do we learn to tie flies nowadays anyway? I mean, a few of us still buy books and still read books, but a lot of people do what you're doing right now. You're watching YouTube on how to learn to tie flies. And I still learn a lot of flies by watching YouTube myself. So that's it in a nutshell about the book. And as this is Savage Flies, let's give away one of these copies. If you're familiar with the channel, you know how we do this. Just leave a comment with the hashtag FFF. This is published by Federation of Fly Fishers, so we'll just use the hashtag triple F. Okay, this video is gonna be published 
Thursday, April 15th, 2021. Let's let it run for, say, two days, Saturday night, maybe 10 o'clock. That will be April 17th. I will take one of the comments that is used, the hashtag triple F, and uh, I'll do the random comment picker, and we'll select one winner for this book. I'll reply to your comment, and you can email me your mailing address, and I'll get the book sent to you. So that's it, everybody. Just one small way for me to say thanks. Thanks to all you who support the channel, who leave comments and thumbs up on the videos. I really appreciate that. That does help tell YouTube that, hey, we like this video. I'm going to start pushing some more of these videos out there. All right, everybody. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.